Good afternoon. I just wanted to say thank you for this opportunity to speak at this conference um, and thank all those um, uh, the staff with uh, the anniversary. So my re presentation methods and means of, of automated information systems development based on ontology software and hardware complex is quality management. So the main questions, um, while it's um, relevance of the problem, mm -hmm. then the main parts will include um, um, conceptual basis and basic elements of implementation of uh, software controlled um, processes of AIS development and um, based on um, uh, the process of uh, life cycle um, of, uh, to have ontology. Uh, and we call it um, uh, task-oriented ontology. So that is why the first question is conceptual basis and basic elements. Then goes models and methods um, of development and verification of complex requirements um, as uh, the first um, stage of development of any system, and then methods and means of development and verification of architecture and design solutions. And in conclusion, a couple of words um, about the areas of um, further work uh, to develop um, the approach um, and methods of technology we are planning to use. So this slide gives some justification of um, uh, the relevance of this problem. First of all, it's, um, the sy uh, it's complicated systems, those for um, critical infrastructure. And it is accounted for by uh, special requirements uh, to reliability and productivity, um, it's um, uh, safety and protectiveness, and uh, they are used more often. Um, uh, the new system systems that are created um, uh, um, uh, to work with already existing and uh, and to work at different platforms. Um, uh, and um, it is uh, not very often that it happens. Possibly you can um, apply some ready-made solutions um, uh, full-scale. So um, here is um, um, an objective to justify uh, the requirements and their verification to uh, further reduce uh, the, um, the probability of um, getting uh, not the product you planned um, and uh, the customer and user expects, but uh, very different. Uh, and here you can see some data of um, a research mm. Um, the results of um, different projects, some um, uh, American uh, company, um, which um, confirms that the problem exists um, all over the world. Um, specifically, they say that about 30% only um, are, um, have been solved um, and um, up to 2015 the data is valid. But of course, there's data for 2017 and 18. And so the situation has not changed. Only 30% are successful, 50% uh, um, um, not for full functionality, and um, the terms and budgets um, um, increased uh, 1.5 times. One of the main uh, reasons uh, is a low quality of uh, requirements. Uh, you can see the picture uh, at the bottom, which shows that um, uh, the cost uh, to fix uh, the deficiencies um, goes um, uh, exponentially up depending on the stage. At the stage of uh, the use of the system, if uh, uh, a deficiency identified uh, uh, in the requirements, then uh, the cost of uh, fixing um, in increases uh, hundreds of times. Uh, so we mm, did a s survey or research uh, as to what go what goes on in this area in the world and have analyzed um, the existing spe uh, specifics, uh, models, uh, means, and uh, studied um, a lot of um, uh, scientific uh, publications. Some of them are all here, and um, I just wanted to mention only um, a product as a regional uh, rhapsody of, um, and massive. And um, a number of products uh, that I know are used in um, system programming, like Redin. And uh, presently, we are using mostly open source uh, products to um, double check uh, the ideas uh, that we are trying to implement. 
the basics of um, the ideas. Well, I'd like to stress once again that um, no, mostly we uh, spend our efforts on implementing and uh, providing quality of the first two stages uh, of life cycle, which is development of requirements. And the second is um, uh, architecture development and uh, um, uh, solutions, um, uh, draft solutions um, for software. So the next stages are not yet um, reviewed uh, because um, uh, for this, um, or some solutions already in play, are already in place, but uh, and there's another nuance related to um, the fact that, as far as I know, programmers very often are ready to solve it um, from the very beginning, uh, having uh, the minimum uh, set of uh, requirements. Um, but that's not the right thing to do. And this slide shows that, uh, first of all, the basics of our um, approach um, uh, is to implement a single um, model language and information um, the software um, and support um, of uh, complicated programs of um, systems, uh, which can be used and should be used by all um, participants uh, of um, the process of creation from um, goal setters and then users and designers and uh, developers. Um, mm, and then and down to the users. Um, and having um, this kind of uh, single um, uh, environment of development and support, we will be able to implement um, uh, the software um, process uh, development and support of complicated um, software and technical systems. The basics, or um, at least at this stage of our approach, um, is um, uh, the FMLs and the SML UCL languages. And ELF, Scrub, um, which model behavior, and the dynamics um, uh, of behavior systems. Um, um, it's description of algorithm functioning. And as I said, we use open source products, those um, uh, that are developed and uh, uh, and here are, um, they are enumerated here um, framework um, and others um, and some products like papyrus um, Modellum, and uh, now and um, totally the development um, starts The first part is development of the requirements. It starts with definition of functional requirements. All requirements can be split into two main groups, requirements of function for functional capabilities and uh, technical requirements, requirements uh, towards the uh, quality of implementation of such capabilities. The input data is text documents in format of uh, technical briefs uh, that uh, through instruments uh, from one hand Thesaurus uh, and the subject area. Uh, in development of ontology, the special requirements are utilized for technical briefs, uh, briefs uh, for uh, software. And the preliminary structured model is uh, structured. And then the next stage, it uh, through program instruments, it is uh, translated into formal first preliminary model shown through object-oriented language, which is uh, based on, which is built on FML, CML, or CL, and languages of uh, defining activities. Next stage is designing architecture with instruments I will mention a bit earlier on the next slide. And stage three is transition from architecture either through, as we see it at least, uh, through program instruments and the work of developer without developers of high qualification you cannot fine-tune and finalize the product to meet all the requirements in functionality and other quality requirements is impossible so developers are working together with the testers the requirements have specific characteristics. Here is the classification of uh, characteristics of quality requirements towards a uh, complicated uh, system. They are split into uh, 
adequacy, full and uh, reliability of uh, requirements as group one and group two is internal um, requirements, uh, non-excessiveness, uh, clarity and others. Um, monitor monitoring, checking and some other requirements. On this stage, the task is to meet the requirements and these features of a complex of requirements so to, to meet them. And for this, special tests are developed as for correctness of uh, execution, correctness of execution of functional requirements. Uh, you know, functional requirements are described uh, through templates uh, structured on the basis of diagrams of uh, options of utilization usage. Here they are, the diagram of uh, options of uh, use. If uh, it is not enough, then the diagram of activities, of, a uh, of a sequences, and the uh, conditions. So we are still on these three, and I think that's quite enough so far. But there are also other types of diagrams, but we do not plan to use them so far. And all these things are transitioned into the diagram of classes and to define algorithms, we use uh, activities languages. As a basis, as it was already said at the beginning of the presentation, the basis of our approach is development of object-oriented ontology for automated systems uh, for of special purpose. The main, here are the fragments of this ontology. The main information domains are objects of management, means of management, organs of management, comprehensive programs and tasks solved through relevant organs and systems of management. For each domain, specific using object-oriented languages, uh, specific uh, class diagrams, activities diagrams, and sequence uh, diagrams, uh, conditions diagrams are created. Fragments of some diagrams are here on the slide. And ontology number two, which is used here, uh, ontology of quality management uh, for program and technical sy systems. We, we are not the developers of it. We use the ontology of quality management uh, from the standards uh, in series 9126. And another series is developing now, 2.5. So it means all such ontology implies that the main characteristics of quality are functional, functional usability, reliability, supportability, where transferability, compatibility. So eight characteristics, and each of the characteristics have a sub characteristics, and sub characteristics have their own quality indicators, and then means and metrics and means of um, measurement and assessment evaluation. As I already said, for development of functional requirements, we use diagrams of uh, variants of utilization. So this is a task to ensure the conflicts of programs the task which is uh, tackled when developing the utilization plans. Uh, for building it, we used ontology, algorithm for solving tasks, and classification of information that was built. The information which is used and created and transferred through the layers. Here we show meta model use case plus that was developed uh, for automatic generation on the basis of uh, structured text uh, representation of the requirements. And at the same time, we used diagram of classes. That is the main concept for solving tasks uh, for, initial, for ballistic uh, procurement. So the subject area for us now is ballistic procurement. Before that, we were talking about functional requirements. Every functional requirement 
has a specific requirement for quality of execution. We have three groups of requirements, three characteristics, reliability, productivity, and protectedness. And as it was already said from the anthology, every one of them used their sub-characteristics for every sub-characteristic. Uh, the indicators are defined and the uh, means of uh, verification, testing and tracking are also developed. For verification, formal model of requirements, it is intended to use, it is planned to use, you know, we carried out experiments and across many, as a result of many of the tests, we got verification interacting with uh, Alexander Konstantinovich department, uh, Alexander Konstantinovich Petrenko, and the number of products uh, they use in their verification for our program, for programs, for software. This is, first of all, here we show virtual machine. Virtual machine, we had some experiments with it. Uh, it can also be used, but now we are using a different product. Scrum language uh, for machine conditions, and we carried out experiments, developed tests that allow us to verify to find flaws, defects in definitions of functional requirements. Knowing that by functional requirements we mean an algorithm of solution of this task. So we also plan to use such means as CPN tools, such instrument. Algorithms are described, algorithms for solving various tasks, for activities diagram, and in its basis it has the CDP3. CPN2 is very, is fitting this approach very well, is suitable. Development of architecture of project solutions for programming technical means is done in the same environment. Uh, we are just clarifying algorithms for tackling such specific tasks. And we did describe it through the instruments of diagram of activities and conditions and sequences. Here are the cases of um, describing these uh, tasks. Uh, daily plan and subtasks, development of one of the plans of utilization, one of the tasks. For verification, we also use we can use virtual machine if we describe it in FML language using ALF or Scrawl. Relevant tests are developed to check quality of uh, presentation of such algorithms. Some of the checks should go by means of this program execution including through comparison with against ontology that formalizes and defines relations uh, that are possible in the system, banning, prohibiting all other types of behavior for various types of objects. And on the basis of this, we structure test cases and uh, execute on this level. For verification diagrams of condition, we plan to use instrument R1, and the diagram of conditions is translated into even P language. Uh, consequences, sequence uh, diagram can be verified through spin. The transition should go to Promelo language. NCP and tools can also be utilized for verification for if um, its dynasty diagram is the basis. So why these three main types of diagrams? We think that they define very well the main types of algorithms of solving tasks. A diagram of activities uh, describe uh, information calculation tasks uh, with input and output, and then the algorithm is working before the task is solved. For conditions diagram, this is automate, automated uh, machine expecting for events and responding and the sequence diagram shows interaction of various components and operators that uh, use this instrument. 
and about the prospects. Today, you know, we first set this task uh, on our own. And in the future, I think uh, the task uh, will also be relevant for the services we work for development of various instruments so step by step and the um, assistance of the life cycle including development of ontology and adaptation of it for more specific tasks. Next stage is development and verification of a complex of requirements. Number three, development of architecture including the process of development. Another that next step is very important, uh, tests before commissioning. And the next stage, very important to one in the life cycle of any system, is operations and maintenance. All these stages should be supported through instruments that uh, will be executed as uh, a single language model and information program environment. So the report is finished. Thank you. Questions? Could you please tell us, you showed a diagram, critical events analysis. What do you man, mean by critical events? Uh, the same thing as critical path in planning, or is it something different? No, I didn't show such things in my presentation. I don't get it, sorry. Where is it? One of the last slides. Critical events analysis. Bottom right corner. A diagram of classes. Okay, forget about it. Probably you interpreted it in a wrong way. You can search for it through context search. It's called Tiny Word Critical, eh? No, we didn't find it. Just a comment. As far as I understand, R1 instrument was developed in France and Rodent. Rodent, many, many specialists call it Rodent. Thank you very much for your presentation. Could you please tell us how you plan to overcome this gap between formal definition of architecture and the execution? So, for instance, if you talk about the interaction of multi-stream program, how can we have the compatibility between this definition and the implementation in the, in the programming language? Please use microphone, otherwise interpretation is impossible. Поэтому вопрос перехода от архитектуры к реализации э, на данный момент все-таки я склоняюсь к тому, что вот архитектуру надо построить, доказать, что она правильно, а дальше передать компетентным программистам, которые эту задачу решат лучше, чем пока автоматизированные тесты решают. Большое спасибо. Thank you very much. Any other questions? So when you're talking about verification through various instruments, what are the requirements you plan to verify and why you select instruments for, for se of such diagrams? I'd like to, to answer. I understand. Critical analysis of critical events. That's something what is critical for a program. Otherwise, it's unstable and not reliable. As for instruments, So instruments that we plan to use and have already checked, why these instruments? Because to describe functional requirements, the algorithm for solving the tasks uh, the program should make, we offer our idea is to use three types of diagrams. Diagram of conditions, and for this diagram, the most applicable instrument is Rodan. 
and as for if we describe functional requirements through sequence diagram, we have spin for this. That allows us to analyze if there are parallel computations. The instrument has been tested and we see that it gives uh, positive results and the CPN tools to verify through the diagram of activities because the basis is mathematical CPN tools in our information is the most applicable instrument. A lot of algorithm of uh, analysis is done on this algorithm. Thank you. So, okay, let's uh, close our session. Thank you very much. Now we have 40 minutes for lunch. Please do not lose your time.